Okay, so this is the combination of my backup makeup and makeup I've gotten as freebies and orders and makeup in PR. And this isn't all of it. I have a couple boxes behind me that I'd also like to go through and declutter, but I just need to reassess what I have in my to try or backup pile and decide if I still wanna keep it and still use it or if I can move it on and get rid of it. And what I'm gonna do is, depending on if I got a PR, how old it is, if I purchased it myself, I will kind of make two piles of stuff I will put on my Macari since everything that we're gonna go through in this video is brand new or maybe just swatched and new, that type of thing. So I'll make a pile of like stuff I'm gonna sell on my Macari, which I can also leave my Macari link down below in the description. And then also I'm gonna get together a giveaway pile. So I did this once before when I went through and decluttered my two try pile. And I basically just uh, took a bunch of makeup, especially if it was sent to me in PR, that way I can pass it on to one of you guys so you guys can try the palette or the product or whatever the case is out. So there will be a giveaway in this video. Check the description box for all the details. So yeah, I'm gonna have like two piles going on, one for the giveaway and one for selling on my Mercari for my declutter pile and then of course a keep pile. So let's get into it. I don't know how much time I have before my kids wake up. Let's get going. This is something I'm pretty sure I got in a BoxyCharm. It's from the Touch and Soul Pretty Filter Icy Sherbert Primer. It's a primer. I don't think I've opened it, but I'm gonna set this aside to declutter, but I'm actually gonna, after I just gave that spiel, I'm going to set this aside for one of my sisters. Since it is a primer, I can't guarantee that I didn't like touch it or like it is a pot and I can't guarantee that I didn't open it and whatnot. I just feel weird giving that away. So I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this, but I'm not gonna put in the giveaway or Mercari because I'm pretty sure I received it in kind of NPR with BoxyCharm, but uh, I, I'm not gonna get around to using it and it's such a large container. I know that's going to deter me from wanting to use it. So decluttering. This I'm gonna go ahead and declutter and stick into a giveaway. I tried the black version of this and it works okay, but there is another brand that I like so much more, the um, Ardell, no, not the Ardell, what is it? Uh, Velour, Velour Liner Lash Glue works so well on me that this one, while it can work, I'm constantly having to reapply and retouch throughout the day to get it to stick down. So it doesn't work for me, but maybe it'll work for someone else. So I'm gonna declutter this and put this in the giveaway pile. Let's talk about lashes. Let's see, we got ASP Beauté, Lunar Beauty, Sona, Sonodora, and what else? Oh my goodness, well let's just talk about these three since I have them. I'm gonna put the um, Ace Beauté in a giveaway pile. It is a magnetic lash, but uh, I have a couple of them. I don't need more. I'm gonna declutter and give it away to one of y'all. This is Lunar Beauty I got in a mystery box. Oh, uh, I feel like I might wear those, but I also feel like I'm just not gonna get around to them. I don't wear lashes a ton and I have a lot of lashes, so I'm going to declutter and put this on my Mercari. And then this is Sonadora. I'm gonna go ahead and declutter and put this in my um, giveaway. It's in the style Serenity. Very pretty, but I don't think I'm gonna get around to actually using it. So brand new, put it in the giveaway. Oh, this is a backup, which I'm almost gonna need to pull out. So I'm gonna be keeping it. This is the Catrice Prime and Fine Fresh It Up Primer. I love this. It's a good dupe for the Smashbox Primer. Memorizer. And as I said, I'm almost out of the one I'm currently using, so I'll be grabbing this one whenever that is empty. Okay, here's some more lashes. Okay, these are more from Sonadora. This is in the shade Bliss. Uh, I'll keep those. Those looks really cute and pretty. I'll keep these. And then this is the My Lashes But Better, the thinnest band ever. I think I'll keep these two and try them. They're in the style Blessed, but I like how thin the band is. It says the thinnest band ever. I'm always looking for a thin band, so I'm gonna keep this and give this a try. All right, I got the Professional Super Setter. I'm pretty sure I have a full jug of this already, or not jug, but a full container of this. Not full, full at this point, but I just opened one not too long ago. So I'll go ahead and put this one in the giveaway. Benefit's always sending me new stuff or just like stocking up on stuff. And it's like, great, I can put that in my stock up, you know, get to use later, but um, I don't need this many, oh my goodness. So I'm going to the Precisely My Brow Pencils. Um, they're all in the shade 4.5. Um, I will keep one and then put the other two in the giveaway. I do not need three. In my backup drawer at that, Goof Proof Brow Pencil. This is the one I think I actually prefer from them because it's a little bit thicker than the Precisely Pencil. Also 4.5, I'm gonna keep that. Uh, 3D Brow Tones. Mm, do I, no, I don't know if I've, have I tried this one? I know I like the brow setter. I'm definitely keeping that because my tube is almost used up. But have I tried this one? Because it seems like, this has a, a tint to it. I'm gonna have to try this one. I don't remember if I've tried it before or not, so I'm gonna have to pull this out soon because I'm running low on brow products. So all three of these I'll keep. This is from Makeup Maniac's Perfect Point Liner. I'm gonna put this in the uh, giveaway because it's just a black liner. Um, I have a bunch of them, so I'm gonna put this for one of y'all. 
This is the Eye Inspiring Definer Brow Pencil from Real Her. It's black, sorry if it's hard to see, but let me see. I'm gonna go ahead and put this one in the giveaway as well. Just a tiny little brow pencil, yeah. I don't need that. I'm gonna put this for the a declutter for the giveaway. All right, next up is the It Cosmetics Celebration Foundation in the shade Medium. I think I got this freebie with an order because I haven't gotten PR from It Cosmetics in literally years. But I'll hang on to that because I do remember liking this foundation and maybe in the winter when I uh, get a little bit lighter, I can wear this. Okay, we have a bunch of lipsticks from Yvette Beauty. Um, I thought there was more than three, but I have these three colors here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and declutter them. I kept them thinking I would actually use them, but I'm not going to. And I'm pretty sure, let me open this one, but I don't think I opened any of them to like swatch or anything. No, the thing is clean. You can always tell if you like open it without pulling it out. When you have to stick it back in, it gets the, the top of the liquid lipstick dirty. So three of them, um, all, so I'm gonna just put all three of these to give away. Let's see, Melt, this is a, li a lipstick from Melt Cosmetics. I think I got this in a mystery box from them. I'm not, I'm never gonna get, oh, can I be in frame? Made you a touch brighter. It's a, like a really brown lipstick. It's pretty. That's the only reason I wanna keep it. Oh, it's got a magnetic closure. Mmm. But do I need a brown lipstick? Probably not. Let me think on that one. I have the Professional in Light, a uh, light primer. So like the Professional, but it's a lightweight face primer to minimize the look of pores. I don't know, I'm not super into pore minimizing products, so I'll put this in the giveaway too. Let's see, oh, we got some BK Beauty products, lipsticks looks like. One of them got banged up in travel, but the other one looks good and doesn't look like I've touched them. This is in the shade Kindness, and then the banged up one is in the shade Inner Beauty. So I'll keep the one that's got the uh, dinged up lid. Um, just because it's hard to put it in and yeah, it just doesn't look as pretty and I'll declutter this one and put it in the giveaway Oh, here's another vet beauty also gonna put that in the giveaway. Let's see. We have a pop permanent pout I think I've had this for a little while thinking I might get around to using it It came as a, like a freebie from Ulta. I'm gonna declutter it and put this on my Mercari another Let's see. Oh, this was melt. I meant to look in to see if it was still had that dot on it Yeah, it still has that little dot Think you can see it. I don't think it's an actual like someone touched it or something. I don't know. I'm gonna list this on my Mercari and just because I'm not gonna ever get around to wearing this cream blush, I feel like. So why why open it and use it? I'm just not into cream blushes, so I'll sell it on my Mercari since I did buy that mystery box. What do we got here? Milan Row Cashmere Liquid Lipstick. Oh yeah, I purchased this. Meant to actually get around to trying it out and haven't opened it yet. So I will go ahead and I'll list this on my Mercari too, just because I'm not, I'm trying to cut down on lipsticks and whatnot. So trying not to add more. This um, is something that I tried a couple times, but just not into. Like I think I tried it just to see what it looked like on my lips. So I'm gonna declutter it, but obviously give it to family. This is a couple of these products. I don't think are like, I don't know why they're in my backup drawer because they're not brand new. This one I've used a couple times. I don't remember what I think about it though. Maybe it fell off my desk <laughs> into my new makeup. Anyway, I'm gonna keep this. Then we got, this is from a BoxyCharm. This is the um, their trio of uh, bronzer contour products from Olimar Cosmetics. Got a little dinged up in shipping. Oh yeah, I think the glass broke. It's taped. Did I tape that? I don't remember. I must have taped it. Maybe it got a crack in it? But I guess I'll keep it because I'm not going to get uh, to put in a giveaway since it uh, is broken. So I'll keep it. Um, let's see. We got the Gimme Brow. I do like this one. 4.5. I have been out of mine for a little while, so we'll keep this. Just gonna go down here because I feel like I keep forgetting to bring it up to the camera. This is the 24 hour brow setter. Didn't we just have one of those? Oh, that was the goof proof. Oh, this is a mini. I'll put this in the giveaway. I don't need a mini and a full size in my backup drawer. So I'll declutter that, though I do like it. It's really nice. This is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. I think I got this as a freebie from um, Ulta. No, no, I got NPR once. They sent me a palette and then this was included. So this I'm gonna hang on to because I would like to try it. I don't think I've ever tried Urban Decay's eyeshadow primer. What's this? This is is, um, oh, this is a primer too from Thrive Cosmetics. Let me see. Is it just a squeeze out tube, I think? Nope, it's a wand. Oh, I wanna try this. Yeah, I know I just grabbed two in a row, <laughs> but I'm gonna hold on to this a little bit longer. I forget if I got this. I think I got it as a freebie. I don't get PR from Thrive. Um, oh, this I ordered from um, Ulta. It's Jelly Pop Dew Primer. I have not tried it yet. 
gonna try and actually, you know, hold on to it and use it. This is the Goof Proof Brow Pencil in 4.5. Oh my goodness, I have one of them already. So let me take that other one that was in the box. I'm gonna put this in the giveaway and then use this one that doesn't have a case. Um, next up, Kylie. This is a freebie, I'm pretty sure, concealer that I got from Ulta. Or, yeah, I think so. It had to come from Ulta. That shade's looking a little dark. Like, I don't know, like it's separating or something. I'm gonna have to give it a try. If it stinks or feels separated, I'll just throw it away. Um, we have Camouflage Concealer. This is my favorite formula for concealer, but uh, it's a dark, too dark of a color. Did I open this? Nope. It's in 048. So I'll stick this in the giveaway because maybe someone can use it. I think I bought it from Ulta when they were uh, discontinuing all of the concealers and I thought it might be my color. Obviously it's not. Let's see, we got two more concealers. Benefit and Uoma. Benefit is the number two. I'll go ahead and put this in the giveaway because I have one already in a different shade and this is Uoma. It looks a little dark for me again. I'm gonna declutter this and sell it on my, um, my Mercari. So I'll put that over there and then and this is, oh, this I've been meaning to pick up and like grab out and use. This is Urban Decay's Brow Volumizer. I liked it and I went through the other one and I've just been meaning to grab that as my backup. Cara Beauty, this is a liquid lipstick. Let's see what shade. I really need to cut down on, oh, there's the shade. I'm gonna put that in the giveaway. I'm not gonna wear that. Uh, Make Me Brow from Essence. This is a nice product I have used, um, I have used before. This was my backup, so I'll keep this. Oh my goodness, so much to go through. Oh, this is a brow gel from Makeup Revolution. I'll keep this too. It's a smaller one, I bought it to try. Medusa's Makeup, it's a black eyeshadow. Looks like I swatched it though, so I will declutter this, but I'll give it to family. Let's see, we got Benefit. This is a moisturizing lip balm. I like a good lip balm, but this looks like a bright color. Let me see. That's like a red, uh, but it looks like I nicked it before when I was taking it out, or maybe I just nicked it just now because it looks a little bit dirty on the edge. So I'm gonna go ahead and declutter it, but I'll give it to like my daughter or something as a lip balm she can play with. Ace Beauté's lipstick, what shade? Um, oh yeah, this one I've already, I think I've tried this one and this one already. Yeah, this must have gotten mixed up in my like new two try pile and from my like used two try pile um, during the move because both of these I used them already. I actually didn't like them though, they were too like, too smooth on the lips and they're very dark and they just didn't want to kind of settle in to my lips so i'm going to declutter them and i'll give them to my daughter this is odin's eye let's see in tulip kiss i think oh that's pretty i have a couple of them already though i really do like it so i'll put this one in the giveaway for one of y'all this is the makeup revolution tasty avocado mascara mm, i feel like i've had this one a while oh good epic wear this is the waterproof in black i need i'm almost out of my black liquid liner and i love this formula so definitely keeping this i'll keep this mascara might as well use it let's see we got two liquid lipsticks from odin's eye that i haven't opened we have little jasmine and miss Con Kana canna Gonna put both in the giveaway. This is from DD Signature. Um, I got some makeup on the outside, but it's not used. Oh, her lipsticks were so pretty to look at. Like so much detail on the side. This is in the color Sparkling Wine. I'm gonna put this in the giveaway. I'm sorry the outside is dirty. Like I think it's just black li eyeliner, but I didn't touch the inside. And you can try one of her lipsticks since she's no longer in business anymore. Let's see, La Paris Liquid Eyeliner. And this is Gerard Cosmetics Liquid Eyeliner. I'm gonna put both of these in the giveaway, as well as this thing I got as a freebie, Maybelline Master Precise Liner. Lots of black liners going in the giveaway. 24 hour brow setter. This is another one. I don't need that many backups, so putting this in the giveaway. Clinique, uh, this is a black gel liner. This is a gray. No, this is a black gel liner from Clinique as well. This is a NYX, that's brow. I'm trying to get all the ones that are kind of similar. Okay, so I think these are the two uh, liners. I'm gonna keep this one if it's black. Yeah, I'll try this one out from Clinique since it's in black and then this is, I think black as well. You know what, I'll, uh, I'm gonna put the one in the box in the giveaway just cause it's you know nicer and then I'll keep this one that's out of a box. Let's see, NYX brow pencil. I remember purchasing this saying I would try it out and then I just never did. So I'm gonna sell that on my Mercari. Zola lashes, I think this is a lash glue. Magic lash liner, yeah, you can adhere lashes to it. I'm gonna put this in the giveaway. This is a blue liquid lipstick that I got from NYX thinking I, it'd be nice to have a good blue and I've never used it. Should I just declutter it? Do I need to have a blue in my collection? And I also have a black because I wanted to have a good black. Should I keep them? I feel like I don't need to 
but I will. I'm gonna keep both of them. Dragon Beauty, this one I've actually used and I really don't like. Um, it's a liquid liner, it's a terrible formula. <laughs> I'm gonna declutter and just throw away. Um, got a little Bite lipstick. Oh, it's so cute, but it's got something dirty on it, so I don't wanna put that in the giveaway. I'm gonna declutter it to give it to my daughter. Um, this is a lipstick from Shaki Cosmetics that I think I put on once because it looks like it was used, but it's a purple. I never think to use it, but it's cute packaging. So I'm gonna declutter it and give it to my daughter. She'll love that packaging. Here's a bunch of samples. We got a mascara, oil and shine control from Smashbox. This is Ico. And this is Tula Face Filter Blurring and Moisturizing Primer. I wanna try the primer because I remember I almost bought a full size once because I've heard, I heard such good things about it. But these two I'm gonna go ahead and declutter and put in the giveaway. Next, Sweet Cheeks Matte. I think I might have used this once or twice, but I have another shade very similar to this already in my collection. This is in the shade Silence is Golden. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on my Mercari. This is a Cleanse Off Oil. I can use that just to take my makeup off. I'm going to put that to the side. Kat Von D Translucent Powder. I'm sure I got as a freebie. Oh, these Moxie Lash um, Magnetic Eyeliners. I do not need three of them. I'm going to keep two because they do dry out you know, relatively quick with them being minis. And I'll put one in the giveaway. Let's see. Vitamin Glow from Smashbox. Matte Eyeshadow Primer from Ulta. And then It Cosmetics Lash Out Loud. Oh, I'll keep the mascara. These two I'll put in the giveaway for y'all. KVD uh, translucent powder I'll put in the giveaway. Oh wait, this is the same one. Lash it out. Okay, I'll put the one that's sealed in the giveaway for you guys and I'll keep the one that's not sealed. Um, Persona lip liner in the shade. I don't know what color, but anyway, it's a lip liner from Persona. I'll put it in the giveaway. And then this little packet I got as a freebie from Ulta. I'll go ahead and sell it on my Mercari. I'm gonna go ahead and just sell the um, Melt lipstick on my Mercari as well. Um, then I got these blushes. I think they're all blushes from Odin's Eye. And this first pile is done. Then we gotta go and get the other pile. So let me see. We got a couple different colors. I will definitely put this one, Water Lily, in the giveaway because it's like a sparkly type of blush. And then... Should I keep apricot girl, apricot girl, or should I keep sweet peach? Hmm. I'll keep sweet peach. And then I'll put apricot girl, apricot girl into the giveaway. So there. And I actually need to just pull this out and try it. I keep putting it to the side to try it one day and I never do. Okay, let me pull out some more stuff to go through. Okay, oh my goodness, I am a little overwhelmed here. There is so much. So everything that we've gone through before was a lot of stuff that I had already organized in my two try drawers at the old house before the move. And then all of this was kind of like overflow of that, new palettes, and also a bunch of mail that I got during the move and directly after the move that I just stuck in a box that became the overflow for the two try pile. So most everything in here is like brand, you know, brand new. I haven't had time to sort through it type of thing. So I am overwhelmed. <laughs> We're just gonna get started. This is a sponge from Lunar Beauty I got in my mystery box. I'm going to just sell it on my Mercari as well as this lip gloss in Dreamy. I'm gonna go ahead and sell that. I got it in my in the mystery box, but I have one lip lip gloss from him. I'm good. This is Maya's Cosmetics so, uh, Served Soft. They collabed with Cole MUA, and it was a neutral palette. I never got around to actually using it, as you can see. It's like brand new, a little smudge there, but I didn't touch it. It just smudged in the mail, maybe. I'm going to include this in the giveaway because A, I haven't used it, B, Midas is no longer available anymore, and C, it is a neutral palette. So putting this in the giveaway. Um, here's something from uh, Tina Young and Pixie. I held on to thinking I would actually, you know, maybe try it out, but it's a neutral palette with a pop of blue. I'm not going to, gonna put that in the giveaway. What else we got? Um, oh my goodness, so much stuff. Let's see, we got House Laboratories. I think I got this in a BoxyCharm. I think, and it's a really pretty lipstick. But do I need it? No, I have this color many times over. I'm going to put this into the giveaway as well. 
Oh yeah, this I'll do the beauty based stuff here in a minute. Hang on, let me just keep sorting. I picked this up during a crazy sale where I got it for like $20 or something. This is Certifies uh, Green Blue Palette. Is Certify even around anymore? I'm gonna have to see, but you know what? <sighs> I have so many palettes that I'm trying to go through. I feel like I should just sell this on my Mercari. So I'm gonna set it aside and put it to, to declutter and sell it on my Mercari. And if I have any kind of like qualms about it, I can always like pull it off my Mercari if I still wanna use it. But I'm gonna go ahead and declutter it for now. Um, this is something I picked up at, yeah, TJ Maxx. It's Cara Beauty. I was like, oh, Cara Beauty. I've always wanted to try her, the brand. And this was like a green palette. But I mean, actually looking at it, it's like a neutral palette with a pop of green. I'm never gonna get around to this big palette. And I don't even know if you can still get it anymore since I did get it at TJ Maxx. J Max, probably not. I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and put this on my Mercari as well. This is from, oh, Gerard Cosmetics. It's a highlighter palette I got in my BoxyCharm. I'm going to include this in the giveaway. I'm just never going to get around to using it. We have a Winky Lux Fruity Kitten palette. Oh yeah, I picked this up to review on my channel and then I just got overwhelmed and I never got around to it. It looks like it got a little smudged there, but that's it. I remember being really into the color story. I thought it was really cute and curious to see how Winky Lux did colorful eyeshadows, but never did it and I feel like I'm late to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this and put that on my Mercari as well. Um, then, oh, this is from a uh, Glam Shop. I forgot I got a yellow and a green theme palette from them. I've already swatched it. I'm gonna keep this to try. I really need to try. That That looks so beautiful. I need to try this. So I'm gonna hold on to this, hopefully one day. And hopefully it's still available. I feel like I'm always so late to some of these that by the time I get to review them, they're not even around anymore. Next up is a contour highlighter palette from Pixi that I got sent in PR. Um, I'm gonna declutter it and put it in the giveaway. Then this is from um, Benefit. It's a, ooh, a little face palette. Looks like um, I or my kids have already been into it. Um, I will go ahead and declutter this, but I'm gonna give it to one of my sisters because she is getting more into makeup, so I think she'll really like the tones in that. Next up is My Cosmetics Unveiled Berry Nude. I think she had, oh yes, I remember one of my kids got into it. It was probably Levi, considering all the marks, but yeah, these were two unveiled cool nudes and berry Berries. I think I was taken out to take a picture of it and then they murdered it. So, um, gosh, I, I guess I will um, just see if uh, one of my sisters or my daughter wants this one. This one uh, he didn't get into, so I think I'm going to include this in the giveaway. It's a little marked up right in here, but with eyeshadow pellets, and since it's a powder, I think you can spray it with alcohol and it disinfects it. So I hope you guys don't mind. And if you did, if you do mind and you win the giveaway, I can just pull this out and I don't have to send it to you. You can totally let me know that if that's weird, but I'll give this one since it's so beat up to my daughter to play with. Oh yeah, I remember this Ill Mask I meant to try this. It's a rainbow palette. I think I tried it once and then I put it aside to do a more in-depth review later on and never did it. So, hmm. Um... Should I hold on to it? I feel like I don't need to, but it was a nice palette. I'm gonna hold on to it for now. Yeah, I'm gonna hold on to it for now. Oh yeah, and then they all, I also got this sent to me. I worked with uh, Look Fantastic and they sent this to me kind of in payment for like uh, promoting a sale of theirs. It's so washed out, I'm sorry. But uh, it's, it's like a palette that's over $100 or something crazy like that. Uh, I kind of still wanna play with it though. There's a lot of shimmers. Oh, there's a lot of shimmers. Should I just get rid of it? I'm gonna hold on to it for a little longer. I think I got it like at the beginning of the year around when I got pregnant and that's why I never ended up doing anything with it. I can't remember, but I'm gonna hold on to it for now and decide later. <laughs> I can't decide right now. Too much pressure. I remember this, Lethal Cosmetics. I picked, I purchased this off of another like YouTuber who was selling it because I thought it was such a pretty like colorful palette. I'm gonna hang on to it for a little longer. Um, I like Lethal's formula. So that's why I wanted to get it to try more of their colorful ones. Oh, this is the Clarity Cosmetics Evil Mermaid. Um, it, I, the brand actually sent me two. I guess I will just go ahead and I'll go ahead and throw this into the giveaway as well so that one of you guys can try it. Um, this is Trending in Tokyo. This is an older palette, but yeah, it's such a, this is a shade that always is the reason I want to try this palette because it looks so pretty. Uh, should I hold on to it or should I get rid of it? I feel like I should get rid of it because it's an older palette from BH Cosmetics. I feel like their brand, you know, formulas probably can continue to improve. So I feel like I'm gonna put this on my Mercari. Again, if I change my mind, I can always pull it off. But for now, trying to declutter here, I'm gonna go ahead and sell it on my Mercari. Oh, this is from Aether Beauty. I picked this up from TJ Maxx as well. 
thinking that I would get around to it. And I actually did one look with it and I was seriously unimpressed. <laughs> was not super into it. And ever since then, anytime I'm like, oh, I should pull that out and like finish trying it to review it. I don't really want to. So I'm just gonna go ahead and sell this on my Mercari. I've only used it once, like I said. Really pretty packaging, but I don't know. It just didn't impress me and I haven't gone around to trying it again. Um, this is from, oh yeah, Makeup and Makeup Cocktail Cosmetics. They sent me this palette um, to try out after I mentioned it in a Will I Buy It, so I really need to get around to doing that. I, am, I think I'm gonna pre-film with it and it'll be one of the videos that goes up during my like break after having a baby, so you guys will be seeing this soon, definitely keeping. Let's see, OPV Beauty Spotlight. I think I got this in a boxy charm. That's pretty, it's not. It, it's nice, but I just don't think I'll get around to it. So I'm gonna throw this into the giveaway for one of you guys as well, since I got it in boxy charm as PR. Oh goodness, I remember getting these, wanting to actually try them. This is from ColourPop. High Society is this one. Oh, so cute, and then rumor has it, they got a little beat up in the Ulta Mail. Oh my goodness, and then this one shattered in the move from my last house. But I thought they were super cute, so that's why I picked them up. However, I'm so late to it, are they even available anymore? I'm gonna go ahead and clean it up and I'll sell it on my Mercari and I'll, I'll hopefully I can repress that one. But uh, I'll do it in like a discounted bundle since they're a little beat up and I did um, swatch them. But yeah, bummer, I never got around to actually trying those. Those were cute. Oh, I picked this one up. Weekend Vibes Tasty Avocado. Everyone would always tell me how nice this palette was. I swatched a few shades in it because I was comparing it to another palette, but I'm never getting around to it. And I don't know, I just feel like I'm never going to. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this one and put it on my uh, Mercari. Okay, this I picked up just for nostalgia because I always loved Monopoly growing up and I thought it was super cute. <sighs> but I kind of regret that choice. This is from Hip Dot in the Monopoly collab. But I'm kind of like Katie, that was kind of dumb. Like you didn't need to spend your money on that. So I'm gonna declutter it and see if I can sell it on my um, Posh, or on my Mercari. If I can't, then maybe I'll just pull it back into my collection and I'll display it somewhere, but kind of regret buying that just for looks. Um, but kind of regret buying that just for looks. Let's see, this is Ruby May. Oh, Spice Latte, okay. I gotta keep this and I need to pull it out for this fall because look at these tones. Oh my goodness. I tried their Christmas theme palette last year, I think it was. Loved it, such a nice formula. And these tones for fall, fall's coming up. I'm holding on to this. I don't care if it's late and not available anymore. I wanna try that. This is ColourPop Big Poppy. I think I picked up I picked up at Ulta. Oh yeah, I really did like these tones. I feel like a couple minutes ago I was saying it was too dark and now I felt too washed out. But anyway, it's an all matte palette, but I haven't gotten around to it. So I'm just gonna go ahead, especially with ColourPop, they come out with something every other day. If you don't review it kind of soon, people will forget this even existed. So I'm gonna go ahead and sell this on my Mercari Declutter. Um, this I picked up, uh, oh no, you can be. I think they sent this to me to uh, try out and I was never able to get around to it. Oh, that's such a cute, bright rainbow palette. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the in the giveaway because I'm just not gonna get around to it and I've held on to it for so long. Hopefully I can pass it on to someone else who will enjoy it. Um, Ace Beauté, this is the Nostalgia. I think I had a subscriber send me this or send me one of these. One of them I got like from a BoxyCharm and one of them a subscriber sent me. And I've already tried one out, so hopefully this is the one that the, I got from BoxyCharm. So I'm going to go ahead and declutter this, and uh, I'll put this into the giveaway so I can pass that on to someone else. Okay, let's talk about these two. I've kind of been avoiding them. DD Signature is no longer available. I'm still so sad about it. I'm still bummed that I never, especially this palette, I really think that's a very pretty palette. And then this is also the Apple one. I can't believe that she's no longer available. This one's a little banged up just from living in my collection. But they're still really nice, really cute. I'm gonna go ahead and declutter them but put them in the giveaway so hopefully one of you guys, whoever wins the giveaway, can use it. But I feel like for me, purposes of my channel, there's no point in me trying it because you can't get this anymore and the brand's shut down. So as much as I'm bummed because I thought they were cute with the orange and the apple packaging, I am gonna go ahead and declutter it and pass it on to one of you guys. High Tide, oh my goodness, ColourPop, I feel like is the brand that I purchased to try and then evidently I never do. What's this, the fourth ColourPop palette? I throw them in my cart at Ulta, like when I get like, a, they're on sale and I have a coupon and all that, so I get them for, you know, I don't pay full price, so I'm like, oh yeah, let me try that finally, and uh, then I buy them and I never get around to actually trying them. So again, another one I'm going to declutter and put on 
on my Poshmark. Or on my Mercari, not Poshmark. I haven't been on Poshmark in a while. Oh yeah, I forgot. Um, they also sent me the Makeup Cocktail Cosmetics, also sent me a lipstick. Definitely keeping that. It's a nice, kind of like a, a nice nude for me. Let's see, this is the Sour You Doing from Beauty Bakery. Hmm, I shut up. I must have got this in a boxy charm. That would be my guess. Oh, that's a cute little palette. Kind of reminds me of a toned down version of, uh, oh, I'm so washed out, I'm sorry, y'all, of uh, Give Me Glows or like a small version of the Cartagena Magica. Ah, oh, that's kind of cute, but I don't think I'm ever gonna get around to doing it. I don't remember where I got this. Oh, maybe it was an Ipsy, that might've been what it is. So I'll go ahead and declutter. There's gonna be a lot of palettes in this giveaway. I'm, I might be breaking it up into two, just to divide it up, <laughs> two giveaways. We'll see how many boxes I end up doing. Um, oh, I forgot, I picked this up from Ulta. This is a Sweet Pinks by Juvia's Place because I don't have many like pink palettes, pink uh, monochromatic palettes. So that's why I picked this up. Should I keep it? I'm gonna hold on to it a little longer to see if I use it because I do like Juvia's Place. Okay, almost done. I hope this isn't boring for you guys. This is the Urban Decay Sin Palette. Oh yeah, they sent me this in a PR, but it's just not like, a, the packaging is pretty, but it's not my type of color story. So I'll definitely throw this in a give, the giveaway for one of you guys, hopefully. Even if you guys aren't into it, whoever wins it, if you're not into like such a neutral palette, you'll know someone you can gift it to. Okay, this is from a new brand. They sent to me right before my move from my old house, and I remember getting it, and I think something shattered in here, and so I was like, oh, I'll repress it when I get to the new house, and then obviously I never did anything with it. So I need to clean this up, repress it, check out the brand, make sure they're still around, still available, and then um, I'll decide from there if I'm gonna try it out. But that's a cute color store with the green to orange and yellow, so I, I need to clean that up. I feel bad that they sent this to me, and then I never did anything with it, but it came, it came the week we moved, and Life was crazy and it was a mess, so I just shut it and put it away. So I need to clean that up and uh, check out the brand. Okay, so let's talk about, let's do Beauty Bay and then we'll do Yvette. Um, this is Beauty Bay, let's see, I bought the Earthly palette. So I have bought the big one, the little one, and the medium one. Planning to do a video on it, and then they took over a month to send it to me, and by the time I, it arrived, it was smack dab in the middle of my move. So I never did anything with it. And now I feel like, I think someone said that they're gonna be permanent, which makes me a little bit hopeful of like okay maybe I should try it then but uh I'm so late to it and I definitely don't I mean, I, I'm not planning to do like any type of in-depth video on it basically at this point just because it's so late and I don't need all three <sighs> I like the tones in the big ones just because they're I, I guess I have those tones in the uh, wilderness so you know what I think I'm going to just keep either the small one or the medium one to potentially try, hopefully soon, as long as it's still, you know, available and not a limited edition. So which one do I wanna keep? I'm gonna keep the little one. I like the more neon colors on top with the green. And this one has more beiges and whatnot in it. So I'm gonna keep the tiny one and I will put these two and list them on my Mercari. At the same time as that, I also ordered, um, like with my order from Beauty Bay, ordered all these brushes. Do I need them? I, th I was gonna do a fun video with like the palette. I had, I bought one of their graphic liners. That, and then what else did I buy? I bought brush up brow. I bought the soap brow thing. I totally forgot about this. Oh my goodness, what was Katie thinking? Yeah, one of those clear um, brow, brush up brow, brow soap, that's the word. Um, I don't know who I was back then to get brow soap because now I'm looking at it like, no, no, I'm not going to probably ever do that. So I'm going to put this one on my Mercari too, the, the brow, uh, the soap. This I'm kind of tempted to keep because I don't, do I have those colors? Probably. But I kind of want to try Beauty Bay's formula. I'm going to hold on to this for a little bit. And then the brush set, should I keep, should I declutter? That's what I can't decide. You guys know me and brushes. I think I picked it up because it was like a light purple. They got some tiny brushes in here and I bought it mainly for the video because I was like, oh, it'd be fun to use a bunch of Beauty Bay stuff in the in the video with the Earthly palettes. I don't need, I don't need more. I'm gonna put this on my Mercari. Hopefully recoup some of the, some of the expenses. This is a random bag that I will give to my daughter. Okay, let me get a couple of these and then we'll dive into uh, that beauty over there. 
that pile. This is from Suva Beauty. Oh, I want to try them because I feel like Suva Beauty was a first graphic liner, like uh, a water activated graphic liners. But a lot of people say like, uh, at least a lot of the people that have commented about the brand are, are like, oh my goodness, the quality is horrible. So I'm curious. <laughs> I'm going to keep it and um, use it, hopefully. If not, I'll get rid of it the next time I declutter. Okay, this is the Gimme Glow Slow Harder. This accidentally got in this box because I had it set aside with the night lights, which I've already tried and did a video on on my channel so I don't know why this ended up in this box but I'm gonna put this back over there um, refer gentle brush soap a brush soap I will hold on to and use what is this tea tree and aloe mask scrub it's a clay mask slash scrub I'm gonna declutter it I'll put it in the giveaway insta bay three minute hair mask I'll put this in the giveaway too let's see oh Sigma Sig magic <laughs> I'll just put that in the giveaway it's just a tiny little thing but I'll throw that in there I forgot I bought these at the same time as that big green palette these are from playing and makeup by Yolando and this is a gray toned palette and then this is a blue toned kind of blue indigo I would call it I'm gonna keep both of them uh, very recent uh, purchase of mine I really want to try her gray uh, her formula in grays to see how I like it so I really need to get around to pulling those out and since I'm decluttering so many palettes I should be able to to get around to them so I'm gonna keep both of these okay let's do a vet beauty because she is the sweetest ever and sent me a bunch of uh, glitters glitters from a, a collection she did. This was right around the time of my move and she sent me a bunch of her loose glitters and was super sweet and was like, I know you don't like loose glitters, but I thought you might, you know, enjoy trying these out. If not, you know, no big deal. So it looks like we have flakies and glitters. And I was like, that was so sweet of her. I wanted to do a video or something. She is a vet beauty. I highly recommend the brand and just the sweetest owner. So we got tons of glitters, flakies, um, I'm gonna set the flakies aside because the flakies just, I feel like they're too messy for me. These are all flakies, these are all glitters. I feel like glitters, maybe I would get around to using them. Maybe I'd be brave enough. And then she also sent me her eyeshadow quads that she launched, I forget. Are these, oh yeah, they're glitter eyeshadow quads. And let's see what they all look like. Oh my goodness, that yellow and pink is so pretty. I was so, I'm still kind of upset at myself not actually getting around to using her, her products that she sent because that was really kind of her. Oh, this is a liner quad. Ooh, that's pretty. I need to try this. This is an eyeshadow. Again, the eyeshadow quads have two glitter, two pressed glitters, or maybe it's a pressed glitter and a shimmer and then two mattes is what it looks like. And that, yeah, two mattes. These look like two pressed glitters. And then one more. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Yeah, so pretty, so cute. Um, okay, I'm definitely gonna keep the liner quad. I really need to do a video. I wanna do a video just using a bunch of her products because I really do like the brand. She sent me tons of stuff that I can de definitely do a video on. I'm gonna keep this one because it's just <laughs> screaming at me. Oh wait, I'm gonna have to figure out the names later because my kids are about to wake up. So I'm gonna keep this one. I'll put this one in the giveaway. I'll put this one in the giveaway. I kind of want to hold on to this. This looks fun with the red and black. I'm going to hold on to that. This one I'm going to put, ah, oh, so pretty. This has got like holographic in it. Um, should I, I'm going to hold on to this for now. So I'm just going to declutter these two and I'm going to put those in the giveaway for one of y'all. And then, oh yeah, this out and about Yvette Beauty. I never got around to using it. Oh, looks like we got a little mark in here. I'll have to rub it away and then spray it with some alcohol spray to clean it up but I'm gonna go ahead and put this into the giveaway because I would love for one of y'all to get to try her products because uh, I've tried an all matte palette from her amazing it was her autumn palette the first palette I ever tried from the brand was blown away absolutely loved it so I'm gonna put this in the giveaway though because I'm just so late to it I've had that for way too long um okay flakies I'm going to keep probably one of these three because they're the ones that speak to me the most and maybe I'll try it if I'm brave. Oh my goodness. They're too pretty for me to decide. I'm gonna keep this one. I should just give them away because I feel like other people will probably actually use them as opposed to me who will just look at them and be like, ooh, pretty. Okay, I'll keep two and I will declutter five. And then for the glitters, I will keep this copper one and then I'll put these two into the giveaway. So there's three from them and a couple quads from her that I'm keeping to try. All right, I think these are the last two products. So this was Makeup by Tammy Chasing Butterflies that I picked up to try from the brand and I never got around to actually trying it. And now that I look at it and I think about all the palettes that I have to try, I'm gonna go ahead and just try and sell this on my Mercari 
I'm just, I feel like I'm too late to it. And then maybe the next time Makeup by Tammy launches something, a, a new palette, it'll be a color story I, I like and I can jump on it a little bit more quickly than I have this time. Oh, and this was some random brand that sent me their highlighter palettes. Um, look how beautiful. I did a couple of reels because it was just so pretty. Um, but since doing those reels, I haven't, I think I used them on my face once or twice. I'm gonna try them again, and honestly, if I don't actually use it, I will give this to my daughter, because she will just love it. Honestly, I want it for like a display piece, because I think this is so beautiful. But if I don't use it, my daughter will definitely just love to play with it, so I'll keep it for now. Okay, so this is what we have so far for the giveaway pile. I'm not counting like I usually do on my declutters, just because it's it's too much. But I've given, I've gotten rid of more than half of what I had in my two try pile beforehand, which makes me feel really good. And this pile is so big, I think I'm going to get some large, um, what is it, large flat rate boxes from the U USPS store, and I will divide it up into two or three. Uh, giveaway bundles that you can win and then that's how it's going to work out. So I don't know how many different boxes I'll have if it'll just be two giveaway winners or three but definitely more than one. I'm going to divide this up because it's just so much and we'll see what fits in the in the boxes and whatnot. So either two or three people I will divide it up as evenly as I can and it'll just be a random mystery but if you want to win some makeup that I have gotten in my collection it's been sitting for a little while. None of these are like years that they've been sitting in my collection but I just haven't been able to get around to using them so I want to pass them on before they go bad. They're all brand new. One or two of them, as you guys saw, had little marks on it, but that's it. So if that doesn't bother you, feel free to check the description box below in this video and you can enter to win that. But yeah, that is gonna do it for this video. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I've had this job on my to-do list forever, so I thought it might be fun to bring you along with it and show you guys me going through all of this new makeup and you know putting aside a two-try pile. So yeah, that's gonna do it for this part of the declutter. And if you are into giveaways or want some of this, you can check out the description box.